I'm Kim, and this is The Buzz. I'm back this month to give you 10 exciting events happening in Eastern Oklahoma. Everyone's excited to get out of the house and enjoy all of the wonderful festivals and events that summer has to offer. You should already know to watch to the end to see everything that Bravado Wireless is streaming or releasing this month, including our new show, Okies on the Go. While you're at it, don't forget to check out our stores and see some of our great deals on phones, accessories, and service. Let's get started. If you aren't quite comfortable with the idea of being in large crowds yet, then our first event is perfect for you. The Virtual First Friday Art Crawl in Tulsa is an online take on Tulsa's Art District's monthly art crawl. As always, you'll be able to see the unique rotating art displays found in many beautiful galleries, studios, and museums that Tulsa has to offer. The only difference is that this month, you'll be able to watch them from the comfort of your own home via Facebook Live. This stream will take place on June 5th and typically starts at 6 p.m. and is completely free. To stay up to date on times and information associated with the art crawl, follow the Tulsa Arts District on Facebook and check them out at tulsaartsdistrict.org. Whether you're a festival connoisseur or simply looking to enjoy something different, then you are going to love the Dogwood Days Festival in Idabel, Oklahoma. This annual festival is typically held in April while the dogwood trees are in full bloom, but this year has been postponed until June so everyone can enjoy this 27 year long tradition. While the dogwoods may not be bloomed, that doesn't mean that this festival has any less to offer. There will be the Tyson Chicken Cook-Off, craft vendors, food vendors, and a talent show. If you're ready to be active after sitting on the couch for so long, then you can sign up for the 5K held on Saturday, June 6th. But it does cost $25 to enter. If you're more of a sports spectator, there will be a cornhole and softball tournament held on Saturday. All that to say, there is something for everyone. The festival will take place in downtown Idabel, Friday, June 5th through Saturday, June 6th. For more information and sign up sheets for the events, go to the idabelchamber.com. I don't know about you, but it feels like I haven't been shopping in ages. Well, online shopping doesn't count. That's why I'm super excited to tell you about the Market on the Meadows in Shawnee, Oklahoma. This outdoor market offers antiques, handmade crafts, jewelry, and a ton of other unique local products that you can't find anywhere else. It all takes place in a meadow that's almost as beautiful as the crafts sold there. And, of course, there will be food to buy, because what's a day of shopping without a snack or two? Or maybe three. This market is open Friday, June 5th to Saturday, June 6th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and costs only $3 to enter. For more information, visit marketonthemeadows.com. If you're a folk music fan, then you will love the American Heritage Music Festival in Grove. This festival is known for its fiddle and clogging competition that spectators can watch on multiple stages. There will be six different fiddling contests, twin fiddle, anything goes, Hot Fiddle, Honey Creek Special, Gambler's Contest, and Take Me Back to Tulsa. Each contest is $6 to enter, but this year tickets to the festival are free. This is a great place to take the family for the weekend. You can even camp overnight to enjoy all that the festival has to offer. There won't be a moment without dancing, music, food, and fun. The festival will be held at the Grove Civic Center and Snyder Campground in Grove, Oklahoma, Thursday, June 11th to Saturday, June 13th. For more information, head over to GrandLakeFestivals.com. Go back to the Wild West with the What About Bob Chuck Wagon Festival in Wilberton, Oklahoma. What About Bob is one of the most unique festivals that you'll find this month. It features, wait for it, Chuck Wagon Races. We've seen some pretty wild things here on the buzz, but Chuck Wagon Races may take the cake. During the race, 100 teams of horses, mules, drivers, and cooks all compete for first place. On top of the races on Saturday, there will also be a concert and barrel races on Thursday, as well as live music and team roping on Friday. The festival runs from Thursday, June 11th through Sunday, June 14th. The cost is $50 for an all weekend armband or $15 a day and $10 on Sunday. For more information, visit the What About Bob Chuck Wagon Race Facebook page. 
If summer to you is all about the sweet smell of barbecue, then you'll have to check out the Beats, Brews, and Barbecue Festival in downtown Wagner. This event is a KCBS sanctioned barbecue cook-off, which means that the barbecue here has to be insanely good. I can smell the pulled pork now. Friday, June 12th, there will be a competition for local chefs with a People's Choice Award, and Saturday, June 13th, is all for the professional pitmaster. But both days will feature live music and ice cold brews. The competition starts at 5 p.m. and ends at 10 p.m. Be sure to come with an appetite. For more information, head over to the Wagner Beats Brews Barbecue Facebook page. Nearly a year after the historic flooding that devastated the town of Weber's Falls, they are back and ready to enjoy some family fun and summer sun at the Weber's Falls Day Festival. You can spend all day with the family starting at 6 a.m. with a pancake breakfast outside the First Baptist Church. Later in the day, there will be arts and crafts vendors, food vendors, music, and a tractor pull and a kitty tractor pull for the kids. Throughout the day, you can sign up for raffles and listen to local bands. The Weber Falls Day Festival is only one day, so be sure to head out on Saturday, June 13th to catch all of the fun. For more information, visit TravelOK.com. Nothing brings back those nostalgic vibes like an old-fashioned cruise night. The Henrietta Cruise Night in downtown Henrietta is perfect to enjoy a breezy summer night and make some great memories with loved ones. Watch classic cars and rusty old rats cruise up and down the historic streets while listening to some classic rock and roll. This event is free to attend and goes from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. downtown on Saturday, June 13th. For more information, head over to Henrietta.org. Next up, we have Old Settlers Day. Old Settlers Day is one of those classic country festivals that Oklahomans look forward to year round. Maybe it's the rides, the food, or the spirit of Carrie Underwood. Who knows what it is? One thing we do know is that you should get out and be a part of it. The pancake breakfast starts at 7 a.m. And while you're there, be sure to check out the car and tractor show. The parade starts at 9 p.m. and has all the classic elements like marching bands, rodeo queens, and floats. Afterwards, grab your partner and start dancing in the street to live music. Old Settlers Day is Saturday, June 27th in downtown Shakota, Oklahoma. For more information, check out shakota.com. We are headed back to Overton with this next event, except this time we're telling you about the Relics and Rods car show and firework display. This event is super exciting because it's one of our first events celebrating the 4th of July. I mean, who doesn't love fireworks? Some of my best childhood memories are about finding that perfect spot to kick back, settle in, and wait for those colorful streaks to shoot across the sky. And when you combine that with classic cars, you know that it's going to be a good time. Come check out the cars, free cookout, vendors, and burnout. This cruise night, festival, and fireworks show combo cannot be missed. This event takes place at Central and Main in Wolverton on Saturday, June 27th. For more information, head over to TravelOK.com. I think that pretty much covers everything, so don't forget to like us on Facebook or hit that little bell on YouTube so you never miss any of the action. Oh, and follow us on Instagram. We post some really cool stuff. Remember to check out everything over at bravadowireless.com. I'm Kim, and that's The Buzz.